Paul, it's in fitting with the drama of the playoffs so far that we've seen at the end of this season. That's another game to add to it. Oh, wow. What, what a game. What an occasion. Um, credit to both sets of players. Credit to both sets of supporters. That is a, that's a proper football game. Those are the sort of games you dream of when you're a kid and you want to be involved in it. And um, I, I, was, I had so much belief in the group that we had enough to get ourselves over the line today. Even though we were a goal down, I really felt that if we could start front foot and we could be positive, we had enough and we had enough energy about us. And wow, they've gone and performed today. They've gone and produced a performance that's got us a result against a really good Bradford City side. And I'm sweating buckets here because I feel as if I've gone through the mill myself. Um, and there's some tired legs, some tired heads, but tiredness doesn't half go quickly when you're looking forward to an occasion like we've got on our plate next weekend. It was a continuation of that second half and over the tie we've deserved this. I, I think we have, yeah. I'm, go I'm going to say the first half, probably the first 25 minutes and little patches in the first half of, of last week at Valley Parade, they were easily the better side, we weren't, we weren't good enough. But I think today, I think we've shown what we can do. I think we've played some football, we've created chances scored goals, um, showed character when we had to because it was a bit of a body blow to concede that goal so soon um, at the start of play. Lots of things have been really, really good today. The atmosphere, and wow, we want to get this. This is what I came back for, to be involved in this sort of stuff. And I think the city, the whole area, the fans, the football club, everybody has pulled together to produce a day like that live on Sky TV and set us up for another one next week. How important was that first goal? First goal was massive today, absolutely massive because you know, uh, you know you're two nil down or you or you one each on the tie. Um, simple as that. We we knew our home advantage could could be in our favour this way uh, this week. We knew that if we were right and our performance was right, we would have enough today. Well, I really did have that belief. Um, and when we got the start and then we kept prodding and probing and. Uh, yeah, just delighted, delighted with everybody. It's been a really, really long season, a brilliant season for us. And now we've extended it by another week. We've got a wonderful game to look forward to. And that's all we've got to focus on now. The quality of the Callum guy strike, we probably thought that might just have been worthy of winning it anyway. Yeah. But then they peg us back. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. They, they showed pace with Banks. He's a good football player. I mean, that's why he's a Premier League player at Crystal Palace. He showed real turn of pace. Um, but we showed character. I thought the, the Callum Guy's goal, I thought the first goal with, with uh, JK having that awareness to follow things in Callum Guy with a wonder strike to get us at two, two goals and then the delivery from Mox and I, I'm gutted for Ben Barkley because he's got the goal that's got us there. Unfortunately, can't play. We knew that before, that was always a gamble. Um, I'm sure he was desperate for it to be Salford, but it's Stockport County. It's a game to look forward to. Now the preparation starts because we have to go there. We ain't going to make the numbers up. I'm sure we'll have unbelievable support there. We're going there to try and get ourselves promotion. Is that kind of thing written in the stars with football, that Ben goes and gets the goal that gets us there when he knows he can't play? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it's probably one of them nightmare scenarios, but uh, I think when Ben's been fit this year, he's been excellent. He's been brilliant for us. Um, I haven't spoke to him, but I'm quite sure he'll be coming along for the for the, the trip. Um, even though he can't be involved in the game, he'll be a big part of our training programme for in our preparation for it. And um, let's see what comes. You spoke about the character. They had to dig deep and show that. Although I mean, there was people cramping up and all sorts yeah. at the end. Of oh, they did. Yeah. I mean, these are a good side, Bradford City. They've been a good side all season. They're a big football club, so we knew it wasn't going to be easy over two legs. Um, as it is, it's fourth and fifth in the final, um, which is probably a fair reflection of the season. Um, I know we had a similar record to Bradford, but we, we were deserved to be a place above because we scored five more goals. We've shown we can score goals again. We've had lots of weeks where we haven't been able to score. Really pleased to get three. Um, and you know we've just got to keep working, we've got to keep building, we've got to keep preparing right for next weekend. I know the players are in there, they're having a beer now, but I've told them we're back in on Monday, we're ready to go on Monday because I want to go and I want to put on a, on a performance that's worthy of getting a result at Wembley. JK back off a three-match suspension, he showed how hungry he was. Yeah, he did, he's trained really well. I mean, he had an ankle injury early on, uh, missed a, a week or so. He's come back, he's trained and he's took his opportunity today and I thought he was a real threat. When he's going 1v1 up against defenders, he's a real threat and, and he was Johnny on the spot when he gets the little tap in as well, which is brilliant, we want that. Um, Joe Garner worked tire, tirelessly. I thought everybody was outstanding today and, and this is 
these are not easy games to navigate. They're tough, tough experiences, and we've got a lot of lads who've never been through it before. Um, I've been through it quite a number of times, but it was tough for me today. Um, I'm sure I've gone greyer, I've gone bolder. Um, I certainly sweated buckets today, but what an end to the game that is, and um, got something to look forward to next week then. Ben not available, but Mel's is. That'll give you an in interesting selection pose. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. That we knew that was always going to be the case, and Mel's has continued to train ready in case we do get that opportunity. We've now got it. Morgan Feeney has an opportunity to be fit for the weekend as well. He wants to join in full training as of Monday. So we have got some decisions to make. Um, we've got a really good group here that want to get ourselves over the line. And now we've got one big effort to go. People might have expected to see Denno today, but he took quite a nasty knock the other day. Oh, he took a horrendous knock. I actually thought he wasn't going to be involved today. It was just a really innocuous uh, collision where he, he went. We were doing some crossing and finishing and he, he went across the near post and he lost his footing, slipped and sliced his shin open. Um, I've got to say it was horrendous. Um, I was one of the first on there and it was a real clean cut. I actually think I saw his shin bone through the cut. Um, he thought he was done, but we, luckily we got it stapled. Um, so I think he's got about eight staples in it. Um, but he said today, I want to be involved. I am not missing this game today. So he was there. I was caught because I, I wanted him to try and get on. And if we if we hadn't got that goal, either him or Jack Robinson were going on to try and give us some fresh legs. As it was with Corey, because of the free kick we had to defend, Corey would have had to go off. So we were defending it with 10 men. So I had to just make a quick decision. But... Denno's still celebrating. He knows he has played a massive part in, in what we've done so far this season to get us to this point. First part of this playoff job was to get ourselves to Wembley. Mm. It's done. You know all too well how horrible it can be to get there and not see it through. That's yeah. the next part of the task. Yeah, it is. You, you have to go and do it properly. You know, we've had, we've had little small targets all season. First one was to get enough points to stay up. Then it was enough to try and get in the playoffs. Then it was get to the final. We're now at the final, we want to go and finish it off properly. There's a huge carrot at the end of it for us. It'll be an incredible crowd. Stockport County have got a massive fan base. We've got a huge fan base. There's going to be Carlisle City Centre will be deserted next weekend. And there's so much to look forward to. They were magnificent, magnificent today, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Everybody was. The fans were, the players were. Um, I thought the staff were. The staff, we, we, were, we had to make decisions. We had to make calls on it. There was lots of things that went on. Um, there was lots of changes going on, lots of discussions going on. And thankfully, we got ourselves over the line and we can, uh, we can have a good week now instead of finishing on Monday. Just finally, Paul, these boys have shown they can handle occasions, they can handle big crowds, they can handle everything that goes with it. What do you do with them this week, getting them ready for that massive game next weekend? We train exactly like we have done. We're training now. We asked, we're, our season is still one week to go and we will be ready for it. We've got training days, we've got travel days. We'll be ready for it. We'll be freshened up, we'll be ready. And listen, if you, I've said this many times, if you can't get up for a game at Wembley Stadium, we've got serious problems. I cannot wait for it. I'm really looking forward to leading us out there. I'm looking forward to us going and performing. And we showed we could handle an occasion today. Now we have to do it one more time. Paul, well done. Thank you.